try to stop the bleeding with my hand. That worked. We live another day. Well, good morning, boys. As you can hear, we are already getting after it. I think it's like nine in the morning and the guys are wasting no time. I'd say probably half the group has already gone out and done their morning laps and everybody's starting up their trucks, cleaning off their windshields and already getting after it. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna need quiet on set, please. Thank you. Sorry, dude. I need, I need, I need five minutes. When I see desert dive, it just really gets me wooded, dude. And just oh. breaked up. Anyway. That was for Desert Dime. That's how excited we all are here. That, you know, that he's out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing it for Jacob. Yeah. I'll be signing autographs at one, okay? I'll have a table over there. Paul, rumor has it you're in competition for the longest send today. <laughs> no, this ain't no measuring contest, guys. Oh, it's not flight school? No, uh, and also, it's a group jump. Way easier than the desert. Look who showed up latest out last night. Hey, hey I'm rip. still here. We're still here. Hey, you're the only one that was ripping night sessions. Oh time, yeah, though, we don't give a fuck. And you got, uh, you got pretty. You probably landed right next to Anthony's truck. You're getting. And we're gonna do it again in the uh, uh, kind of Toyota. Uh, we all here? Yeah. All right. First, uh, we'll do drivers meeting first in like all the filmer stuff. So drivers, you guys all know directional. We have to stay the direction of the track. Never go backwards on the track causes issues. Keep an eye out, like when you come over any ridges that someone could have rolled or in front of you, just keep you ready for braking. Stay, keep enough distance between everybody. If you guys want to do runs where you race each other down the straight track, we need to tell everybody and just put those two guys on the course, empty the course for that. Between the bigger trucks like you and Paul, I'm worried about with the dust, it's gonna it's gonna happen a lot quicker. Just your little cruising this morning, threw a lot of dust up yep. real quick. So uh, three trucks I think is a good good if we need to change it to two we can change it to two but exactly. i'm gonna let you guys decide that everyone go at the same time anthony this is why you don't do this <laughs> um, and anybody gets hurt and wants to sue this guy we're burying you in the background backyard so. yeah. you're not making it out of here <laughs> yeah, we're it gonna take here. your truck it'll be on race desert in an hour yeah and you'll be buried back in those rocks back there yeah for media uh utilized today to connect with all the drivers don't be afraid to talk to them they're not scary Paul might be. <laughs> but, That's Johnny uh, Sims. Yeah, I'm Johnny Sims. Talking to him. Johnny. Um, if you have high vis, you can utilize walking around the track everywhere. If you don't, please stay behind the rocks behind Rusin's pink truck over here or stay behind some of the K rails. But even with high vis, still use common sense yes, where you're standing. Common sense is a big thing. If you feel like you're in a position where you should not be, then Nine times out of ten, you're correct. Also, we have th this outside track is a two and a half mile loop around the whole track to the top. And we want to do some filming up top later on today. And there's a huge uh, step up over here, 120 foot step up. We're going to, a couple of the big trucks are going to hit later on. We'll bring you all down there when we get all the photographers there at that, t at that point. Questions? Anybody new here got questions? Yeah, any filmers, new filmers got questions? All right, let's go sign waivers and then okay, let's get we're good. good. Sure too. Yeah. He grew like another foot. For sure. Yeah.
want to show you guys the new spare tire straps that finally came in. We are back with a new batch of custom limited edition Desert Dime spare tire straps from Alpine Off-Road. The designs we have this time around are the TRD Heritage Stripes right here for all the Toyota boys. And if TRD Stripes aren't your thing, we have my personal favorite, the Desert Digital Camo right here. This is so badass. Now what's different this time around is I did not only just order Y straps, I also got single straps for the boys that are running standing spares. So if you guys need a high quality spare tire strap for your truck, you guys know I already got you covered. And I have to say one more time, these are limited edition. Once these sell out, I am not bringing these designs back. I will be moving on to two new designs. So go ahead over to shopdesertdime.com and grab them while they are still here. Also on the website, we have the two t-shirts. Right here, we have the Desert Dime t-shirt where we got Desert Dime written with the cactuses in the desert. And on the back, we have the actual Desert Dime. And over here, we have the OG logo t-shirt right here. Ooh, bam. There we go. So I urge you guys to head over to shopdesertdime.com, check out the merchandise, check out the spare tire straps. That being said, let's get into the video. There's plenty on there. It's over full. That's how you know it's good. No, there's a there's a nick on it for where it's actually supposed to be. This is a fucking junkyard dipstick that I got. I think it's out of a Chevy. Chevy parts on. Huh? That's why it works so good. Oh it's my a god. Chevy Shut part. the fuck. What happened out on the course? I saw you just randomly stop after the corner and then you pulled off. Oh uh, no, cause uh, Zach was talking to me about something. I think he wanted to get off. And then, like, I, turns, I, huh? I doubt, no, I suck at turning. I don't do short course stuff. This is my third time on a course. I thought you broke something. No. You pulled off and I saw you just going for oil and I'm like, okay. No. No, I know, I I, I knew I needed knows, to top it off a little bit. Just give it a little bit of toppy. Yeah, just, yeah, a little, a little hot tool. I heard you guys are about a Get down and do it no. on the track? Yeah, we're gonna have some fun. Gonna race out there? Totally, totally casual race course over yeah. here. Yeah. We're gonna go ball, have some fun, the, rip around together on the track. The Eric Invitational, the first annual Eric Invitational. Oh yeah. yeah. We're, we're gonna bring it back next year. It's a good time out here. We're gonna have some fun. It's not really out here. <laughs> You guys shit your pants in there a little bit or what? Almost rolled it. Dude, Where'd what happened? I almost rolled it. Just look, I just looked over and right by that mound, you're just sitting completely sideways on the track. He was getting comfy. 
I was feeling it. He was feeling it. I was feeling comfortable, and then the truck kicked my ass. So you came off the jump? Was it on landing? No, I came off what? the jump, and then I flicked it one way, and then I flicked the other way, and then I was just going to come in around the berm and come back in. And I was just too hot when I flicked it, and it was, and it just lost. Oh, like, you just tried angling yourself into the corner? He was squaring up the corner. Oh, I was going to square it up, and then I was going, I was came in way too hot, and then I lost the rear end. And uh, it was, was kind of scary. I thought it was going to catch, but it didn't, so. We got lucky on that one. Yes. How's, the, how's the heart rate really going over there? Awesome. <laughs> yes. I mean, we wouldn't have got hurt. We would have destroyed the truck. <laughs> the cab would have been done. All right, we got the two youngsters. They're going to race, but they're going to dice it up, have some fun together. They've always wanted to be on the track together, so here we go. What happened? Throttle stuck. Got stuck all the way down? Yeah. How'd you come to a stop with it all the way down? Turn it off. Oh, you just cut the engine all the way? Yeah. Damn, dude. Good reaction time, though. <laughs> yeah. Did it come up? No. no. You good? What happened? His throttle got stuck, so we just cut the engine. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that ain't good. <laughs> that ain't good. Well, I thought I saw him coming up to the lip and I thought he just slowed down a bunch for the jump and I was like, what happened? That throttle cable just gets stuck? It's fully stuck right now. Oh no. So you just killed it as soon as you realized that yeah, it wasn't... Yeah. Dude, I, I hit good. it That's good. and yeah. then it just like kept going yeah, 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 without yeah, yeah. my foot. <laughs> You're like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, Tesla <laughs> auto... <laughs> Eisenhower's put it in a Tesla auto <laughs> Dude, it was like... <laughs> I'll put on cruise control. Some cruise I, I, control? My first yeah. thing was like the Tesla soundtrack. Ghost that, ride to yeah. whip. Ghost riding it off a jump. Dude, <laughs> Dude, that is wild. You would have heard the like on the jump, the... Rev limiter just ba ba ba. You could be like Deegan, where it's ba ba ba. Be like Deegan as it goes ba, off the lip, ba, ba, just jump out of the truck and let yeah. it just fly. Yeah, just. Yeah. This is why it's a good idea to do preseason runs, right? Like the night run, so you could figure this stuff out. Imagine if he was mid race and found out, oh, my throttle's stuck. So are you saying that if he did the night run, this wouldn't have happened? No, I'm saying I'm glad they're doing this event before his race in two weeks. You know what? If they had a prep book, they could write this down Dude, for next prep time. Books. Yes. Next time they 100%. go in, they said, oh, you know what? I have written down here in my down from on prep book that we should look at the throttle. The prep book will fix everything. <laughs> here, keep doing that. Yeah. It's definitely this link. I think this linkage is like bent or kinked. Here, is there any way to unbolt this from the firewall right here? The, what's it called? The thing that holds it to the chassis? Because it looks like slightly bent, you know what I mean? So it could be blocking it from pulling the linkage in, you know? That's exactly what you were thinking, huh? Yeah, pretty yeah. much the same thing. Yeah, I diagnosed it from out here. Yeah, I know. I, as soon as he stopped, I was like, yeah, it's got to be that. <laughs> as I was all the way over there in the trailer taking a piss, I looked down and said, it's probably kinked. It's, it's probably yeah. that kinked The linkage right is kinked. There's a fucking three-quarter socket is on my half-inch impact. All the way out the truck, there's no more throttle. I hate when that happens. Bah, 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 bah. Off the lead. It up, it fell through. Shit. But I wonder how, how that, that yeah, the whole time. Oh my god. Is that a is that a spate like a misalignment or what yeah, is that? Misalignment. That is gnarly, dude. <laughs> a misalignment. A misalignment. Hey, we have it on the throttle body. Inside of the throttle body. Dude, it hasn't even happened. He's no, no. been driving around this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been perfectly fine. That's Perfect. why that's why you're ripping, dude. You got extra hardware in there. <laughs> Entire misalignment yeah. with throttle body. Here, maybe get that one first. Yeah, buddy. Good? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> what am I caught on? You hooked on your air. Oh. Lean forward, tread forward. There we go. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like... Damn. Attempt number two. Okay. Attempt number two.
I ate so much dust. <laughs> Dude, I, my entire cab was full of it. That was, that was cool. I think there, I think that would be cool because we were like right. Yeah. There was on that back section, dude. I dude. swear I was like four inches from your bumper. This yeah. you right slid here? on me at the perfect time. Oh, I think that'll honestly. Oh, oh. We go do the step up now, or you want to do food first? What time is it? Twelve. So. I can do. I got hot dogs and everything for everybody. We do food first because once you move everybody out there, it's gonna be hard to bring them back. Okay, let's do food. All right, we'll do. I'll make some hot dogs. We'll okay. Eat and then we'll go hit the step. Okay. After that, I'm gonna go home. I got work at 4 a.m. Oh wait, never mind. No, I got night shift. So, I can stay yeah. for two yeah. hours. No, I gotta be at work at midnight. <laughs> chocolate! What are they They're selling chocolate! <laughs> chocolate! 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 chocolate. They're selling chocolate! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Who the dude, fuck gave me a chair? Wow! Oh shit, we, you, saw, you saw that yeah. shit come out just now. I just lost control. Yeah, Alright, so we're in the desert course now and there's this huge step up right over here. It's literally like the face of a wall coming up and it's just gonna kick them super high and land right where about... Right where Paul is over there. So you got all the trucks moving over here, everybody posted up ready to watch some jumping. Yup. You're gonna get some. Yeah, I need you to tell me where the good spots are to stand. I'm not uh, a filmer like this. So stand this <laughs> on the track, facing the let, moving vehicle. Let them come over me. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Solid. Dude, I didn't think Fuck they were gonna hair. gap that. That's yeah. a huge gap. That thing is massive. Wow. We gotta get a tape measure. No, that was insane. Scale of one to ten, how bad? It's it's not as bad as it was. Okay. Oh fuck. Just breathe. You need some water? Breathe. Yeah, there's water in my. Right, uh, take mine. Right take mine. All right, I'm gonna grab under your back. Tell me if anything hurts, okay? Check his hips first. Anything back here hurt? No. No. How about there? No. No. How about there? Can you feel me pinching you? Yeah. Okay. Feel it? Yeah. Did you Still feel it? On, did you get out on your own? Yeah. Okay. He got out on his own. So I don't think anything's compressed. Yeah. I think it's just, just shock. Just relax. Okay. Let's take a break. Just breathe. Hey, breathe for me right space? now. Yeah. 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 Get uh, I went way too fast. Try and move your feet like you're hitting the gas, both of them. Yeah. yeah. You got movement. I think it's just the compression. Cause he hit hard. Very, very, very gnarly. Hard. I'm gonna try to get you up. You feel like you can get up? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to put him right on your front seat? Um, I can drive his truck put back. Him in the back. Yeah. Put. Him on you want to get a side? Put him in the bed. Something. You want to get a side? Put him in the back. No. Well, I don't have a backboard, so. Here. Oh, we're Lay him fine. In the front. We're fine. All right. It look cool. It sick. Lie. Dude, for uh, the end of the day, for looks sure. Sick. The upper Pretty. links you made held up. That's good. And the steering box. Uh, not the one one. She good? Oh yeah, dude. Got a fresh little scoop on that skid now. Uh, oh yeah. You wanna go to the river? Hey, it did its job no. though. Right. Dude, everything's still yeah. good. Except for that, the bump just got pressed all the way into the lower rod. Holy shit, yeah, dude, look at the other side. It's like, it's like an accordion, yeah, this uh, airbag bad. over there, and now it's just... This side ate it, yeah. Damn good truck. 
Hey, let's go with this. That's his pop stop. Holy! I just want to make sure the truck's movable without fucking oh, yeah. it up. I, I, 50 at the bottom, and I know I accelerate after Were you 50. you in second? That was in second, yeah. So, so what I, RPM is that, like 4,500? Yeah. It doesn't need a lot of pop because it's it just, you can see his front tire. That was upset. Holy. I that didn't was notice how fast nutty. he was going till he was approaching the ramp. I was like, that oh, That was shit. gnarly, yeah. dude. Like, as soon as I saw him going to the belly, I'm like, he's, he's not lifting. He's, he's full. I was like, oh, he's got some speed. Oh, there's the, there's the lip. There's the, there's that the, there's the lip. <laughs> like, when I watched my dad, I was like, oh, that's good speed. Yeah, he landed that, right like, there. That yeah, should Eric be the speed. Yeah, through the, the bottom. Yeah, right he, like, yeah. jumped yeah. off the bottom. Yeah. yeah. He, he was going so He hit the bottom, like, the other lip when it's coming back up. Right. That's the exact same spot. No thanks. That George landed, dude. Yeah, he landed. Yeah, because he knows that he landed flat. Just a hit or flat for sure, but. Oh, It wasn't terrible, though. You good, dude? No, I'm good. It, you, you landed like in the same exact spot off the side of the track. They were bent. They're going to be bent like a little bit. Not to the point where it's no, really I think, well, you're not going to be able to visually see it. This truck's been jumped so much harder than I've jumped it, though. The problem is everyone's landing in that G out. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's That was what I was scared of. That's the what you hit it at. It into. What? I don't have a Speedo. Oh, shit. So, I mean, like, I kind of know where to guess it at, but okay. the landing's so short on this, it's, like, yeah, a little bit hard. Let me see the video. Yeah, let me see it. From a professional it's jumper, what are we thinking of this hawk? It's uh, it's pretty sketchy. The, the room for error is you got to land on, like, a 30-foot pad. If you go too far you die, and if you go too short, you die. So, you gotta <laughs> land in a 30 foot pad, and the trucks are 20 feet long, so. I need to get more tips from you, dude. <laughs> if I got more tips from you, I would've jumped solid. <laughs> it looks like everybody's There's landing. Some, there is a lot of luck involved in nailing this the first try, though. It looks like everybody's landing off There's the not. Left, so. Does yeah, the jump is off-centered. <laughs> it is a little bit off-centered. So the jump's kind of like sideways to it, so you're kind of landing you're slightly You're landing off. in those bushes. Yeah, a little bit. I'm not hitting that. You sure? I don't think I'm hit either. I just don't feel comfortable with it. I, I, just um, don't have enough uh, I don't know if it just like knocked my ECU into like not thinking that it runs. I don't it know. It dies. Well, no, because I turned the battery on, it turns the radio, everything on, but doesn't turn the Holly on. Hmm. One of his hots is like coming off the terminal. One yeah, time. so we'll it's have like to look barely it. touching. Oh, okay, okay, we'll look. Yeah, let's, let's move the oh, it's probably the. I know exactly what it is. It's, it's the Holly wire. That's happened hey, before. It, on, it cuts the Holly off, but it still <laughs> runs the truck. Alrighty, so this <laughs> jump is looking a. <laughs> It's looking a little more sketchy than we initially thought. We've uh, we've lost a couple drivers now. Not gonna jump it anymore. But your dad's still uh, he's ready to go, dude. He's out there. Yeah. He's staging, ready to send it. I'm not gonna hit it. My yeah, truck, you my, need you need to race in a couple weeks. Yeah, I, my truck doesn't have enough suspension in the front. They they do, and they still sky wheelie. Yeah. So imagine my truck. I'm just saying, for you to keep sending it after seeing two guys stuff it back to back, you're crazy. Oh, I know. I had to overcome that fear. So four years ago, I was here and I watched Kevin case it and I got so scared and I didn't do it. And I've been regretting it for four years. 
So I'm not letting anybody stop me this time. <laughs> Dude, you, you're getting, you're pulling it back, which is better. You're not landing as far as everybody's like stuffing the front end. You're hitting like the ramp now. Yeah, it's so you're good. It's 50, dude. It's 50 miles an hour, and then you just punch it off the lip. You get it. You, you punch it in the G, and you probably go off at 55. But if you hit it at 55 and then punch it, you're like. You think you're accelerating five miles an hour off the lip? Maybe three or four. It feels like I don't look at the the, the mile an hour. Yeah, after I just I think at, if I'm at 50 and I'm in second. I'm gonna bog and I'm not gonna gain that five mile an hour. Okay. So. So get it up to 55. I think I, or I can hit it in first wide open. Yeah, you'll be fine there. You're gonna fly over and is anything, you see how far I'm going in, at 50? I'm still going over the lip. Yeah. So even if you hit it at 50, even at that, that one of the ones I was at 48 at the bottom of the hill and I still launched it. I think I like more throttle that time. Your truck's perfect for it. Your truck should be. I could probably hit it first wide open. Yeah. Like not even go to second. Yeah. yeah. I think second would be bad. And I think your truck will come up, get nose high better with first gear too. No, I don't know. I was already, I'm kind of contemplating. I'm like, I kind of want to keep the truck together. You I've seen two people your fear fucking. I, I regretted it the entire time after I didn't do it after Kevin. Yeah. Oh, after Kevin rolled you like, ah, I'm yeah, good. Yeah, and I'm good. I didn't do it. I was so, for four years, I've regretted not this jump. Like, I've thought about this jump. It's been nightmaring me, dude. Like, I've got to do this jump. And even today, I was so scared up to it. And now I did it. It's like, oh my God, it was so easy. It's so much easier than you think. Just don't overshoot it. Well, I think I can't overshoot it first. That's the thing. No. Hey, Paul, do you know anything about Holly systems? <laughs> yeah. Was so, as soon no. as I landed, all my truck shut off and my ECU's not even powering up. <laughs> hey, at least it's on video. Filmers, I'm gonna hit this jump right here. Okay. I'm gonna hit this berm. I'm gonna go down and hit the big jump. So I want like you guys to get the, the way you get both angles. Must yeah. be nice. <laughs> Dude, don't say jump around him. I saw you flinching. Whenever he said jump, you're like. Gotta <laughs> be dial, dude. It's good. I can yeah. Yeah, we're good. You're just gonna be sore for a bit. Yeah, no, we're good. It, it, I think it, what it is, it, it's just your body compression, the way you came down. Yeah. I don't think I. It's I couldn't good. feel when I when I checked your spine. I couldn't feel anything out of yeah. place. Usually yeah. you can tell. Yeah. There'll be a bulge in your back. Yeah. I, you, you're just gonna be sore for a little bit. That's not how you do that. something I'm gonna be so sad no. I told myself like I'm not gonna push my luck I'm just gonna do the same track they've been doing just a lot slower <laughs> <laughs> just a lot more anticlimactic <laughs> You're a trophy truck. I was gonna say, but you give me a fresh little something. Yeah. Oof. Oh! The G out. Ah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the drones are so funny. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> that one was close. This one scares me still. It scares you? I don't want to get Just hit the dog. Oh, there we go. That was yeah, good. I'm like 40. Okay, last lap. Last lap? Last Come lap. on. <laughs> you want to keep going? Yeah. Dude, that guy just fucked the fucking windshield. This wider baby. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. Like I can't jump in this. Yeah. The front's too heavy, so it comes down way before the back. There we go. Right there, perfect. Yeah. Okay. 
get wide and just pit it on out. Yeah, faster, faster. Yeah, keep, hold it, hold it. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh shit. You okay? Yeah, fuck my hand. Is it sliced? Yeah, it's bad. We need uh, some bandages. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh shit. Oh, you're good, that's fine. That's, that's clean, you're good. Yeah, I came in the window and fucking exploded on Dude, we have matching hand injuries now? Yeah. So, I doubt the camera saw it, but we had one of the drones come right into the window and just... <laughs> is it damaged? No. Dude, it's totally fine. I thought it like... Yeah. I thought oh, all the, the prop was bent, but... Yeah. I was worried because like, the moment it like, made contact with the window, like I flipped I don't know what that is. the switch. You just killed it? Like, but... Then I had a second thought, like, did I flip the right switch? Like, I was just like, crap, like. We had the windows down, the drone made its way into the window where Zach was, and it just it cut his hand a little bit. Just got a few little cuts. Manageable. Good thing we have an on-site EMT. Alrighty, well, a lot of people are leaving the camp now. We're wrapping up, starting to clean up. I mob my truck. I've pushed my luck. I'm done. I'm leaving it the way it is. A lot of the guys have left already. The rest of us are just loading up, cleaning up, getting ready to head out, but. Dude, this was a fun, just quick little 24-hour trip overall, you know? Sure, there were there were a couple of incidences. Zach's hand, my finger, Jorge's everything. Jorge, just Jorge. Um, I think that's it. Oh, I guess Ruslan's truck's still getting worked on back there because it's still not starting, but overall, fun weekend. How do you, how do you feel about it as one of the drivers? Amazing. Everything's... Perfect. No yeah, problems. We knew everything. I mean, we had problems, but they're all fixed. Yeah. The only problem that didn't get fixed is that, which he had his time. He had his fun. You like it didn't happen at the beginning. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You like the course, though? Of course, course it's amazing. I love this. I love this property. This property is amazing. You like the truck? Trucks dialed. New engine with New engine. extra parts in it? Extra parts. I think we destroyed the Holly ECU. Because it's reading, Ricked. it's reading uh, power to the Holly. It's reading power to everything else, and the Holly's not turning on. Paul, how do you feel about the event? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I think we had all the right people out here. I mean, we got Jorge, we got the Hayes brothers, we got Eric, me. Um, I don't know, Ernest. I'm probably forgetting people. Obviously, Ruslan brothers. I mean, it's just the list goes on. But everybody is. Um, I just love this community. Like all the guys that do this kind of stuff. It's. Um, uh, it's just a real camaraderie like it doesn't matter if you have different personalities or different personality types or whatever It's just when you get together with the trucks um, everything just kind of goes away and um, We can just talk about trucks and jump trucks and everybody has respect for everybody and uh, That's how it should be. So I'm super stoked about this trip. I'm glad Eric put it on um, Obviously desert season's coming up and I can't wait to get out in the desert. So the truck was amazing um, Felt great the whole time uh, my guy Nick Ewing said, take it easy on the truck. So maybe that's why I didn't hit the step up, step up but um, I didn't take it easy on the track. I was gonna say, you I was definitely pushing all that it. taking it easy. <laughs> you were just belly flopping all the way past the rocks. <laughs> I don't know, that's probably like 175 feet or something. Sick though. I'm gonna post one of your videos and he's gonna yell at you now. <laughs> yeah, sorry Nick. the boy power. Well, Ruslan, you got her loaded up. <laughs> yeah, finally. I had a lot of fun out here. Uh, what happened in the truck was completely like just a freak accident, you know what I mean? Uh, I haven't seen something like this happen to anybody or like anybody, my friends that run Holly. Um, but this is a first, but apparently the Holly ECU got shaken up so hard that because it's running power to all the cables that go into the Holly, but the Holly's not running, so. Something inside the Holly ECU, but we'll get it figured out. But it was so much fun, had a great time. Luckily, it was the last jump of the day, so eh, it happens, it's all right. Luckily, I didn't have to step up the first day I got here. You're the last man of the evening, dude. So how was the event? I would say it was a success. Everybody that came was amazing, good people. No one got any bad vibes. Everyone had a great time, except for a little overshoot with uh, George, but I hope he's okay. But no one else broke anything. Everyone had a good time. Everyone's thankful. They cleaned up after themselves. And thanks to Ryan, 
um, for this property, letting us do this. You're the best. And in the future, anybody who wants to come out here is going to be renting it, Airbnb. So look out for that. Uh, you can come out and spend your weekend yourself out here. How was the truck today? The truck today... I think she ate every different section that you guys went to, whether it was the step up, the main course, the whoops. The whoops. You were hitting it all Everything excessively. Everything excessively. I felt so comfortable today. I had, I had no feelings like where I didn't feel like I was in complete control. Man, I'm gonna be, it's gonna be a good desert season. I think it's kind of weird. I film a lot of stuff like this, especially with this group in specific, but I don't think any of it's ever made it on my channel for you guys. It's all usually either on Zach's channel, on Eric's channel, or uh, like Paul said, they have their own thing going on on his channels. But yeah, it's, it's cool getting to show you guys the stuff I do when I'm not filming for this channel and when I'm filming for other people's channels. Like if you see me posting on my story that I'm out at this race or this race or this race or this desert or this event, and you guys see no videos on YouTube posted about it, it's because it's going on their channel. So I'm glad I finally got to show you guys some of the other stuff that I do aside from what I film for you. So I'm hoping I could bring more of that to you guys this season. Um, it's a lot of fun. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because that's where I post all of these events that I'm going to. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Welcome to my party. We're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring. Hand me a drink because I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink who can